Hi guys! Welcome to our second week in learning robotics um, by using Arduino programming in Tinkercad. So for this week, uh, we will talk about on how uh, we can use breadboard and basic wiring. Okay, expect that I will touch a little um, topics in physics. However, uh, we will uh, more of our topics or more of our discussions uh, will focus on the application of the breadboard and how to use it in the Tinkercad. And lastly, expect that each discussion um, in our succeeding video lectures, um, you will see me do a mini project. And by the end of the lesson, I will expect you to create your own laboratory exercise, which is oh, oh, uh, this is which is basically uh, related to the um, to the discussion that I made. Okay, so let's start. First, we need to discuss what is a breadboard. It is not a bread, but it's actually a board. Okay, so a breadboard basically it's used to create circuits and connect different sensors and equators to the Arduino board and also it refers to a solderless um, solderless breadboard okay so here uh, we will be using Arduino by the way Arduino by the way guys um, it's not a breadboard but it's actually a circuit uh, it's an integrated circuit composed of many circuits okay so i know that you are familiar with ic or integrated circuits an arduino i know that it's a microprocessor um arduino it's a good example of an ic okay okay so how to use breadboard first uh breadboard it's used for a quick prototyping so just like what um the previous um um, previous classes or the previous um, students made before in their project uh, they were able to create a prototype on how to help um, um, masahista na mga blind okay or me uh, not mentally challenged but uh, visually challenged okay so it's not a fully furnished or completed um, um, project or a completed device but by the use of that prototype I believe that um, the um, the companies um, the companies or the industries um, will have a um, good inputs from their prototype that they created okay so in breadboard no need for a soldering okay Next, it contains two power rails on the longest sides of the breadboard. One can be used as a positive and the other one it's negative. If you can see here, you can see the red one that's actually positive going below. So from up going below or from down going up. Okay, so that's actually vertical. Uh, no, uh, vertically. Okay, that's vertically. So if you will insert your wire here, that wire will have a positive charge, okay? Other one, you can see here a blue one. This blue um, line or rail, it, it will contain a negative charge, okay? From the top to the bottom, then from the bottom going to top, okay? Again, it's vertically. And also the same here. But in here, in this part, it started with um, the negative from the right side, then positive here. Okay, so there is a break in connections in the middle of the board. Um, but here, basically here, there will be a break. But I think you will not experience this because most of the breadboard right now, or basically in the um, Tinkercad, it has the same flow of um, flow of connection okay next rows are horizontally connected so when you say rows are um, horizontally connected this one this the row one it's actually connected to each other 
So if there is a positive charge here from the row 1, B, again, row 1, then B, meaning the A, the C, the D, and also the E will also receive a negative charge, for example. Okay? Again, it will break because of this one. There's a bridge. Okay? If this uh, row 1 contains a negative charge, then there is no connection going to this row 1 here. So, wala na negative charge. Only if na arabi siya connection. Okay, so here in the power rail, it's vertical. Here inside, in the middle, it's actually um, horizontal. Okay, but it's, th uh, it's separated by the bridge here. Take note on that one, okay? Next one. Or actually, it's called center divider. You can see it here. Proceed. So, let's talk about the guidelines and tips in using breadboard. First, um, use a few jumper uh, wires as possible um, <clears throat> here. Um, in, physical, um, in physical classroom, I know that um, I will provide you a robotics kit or your um, Arduino kit. Uh, and most of them or mo most of the students will use a lot of connections, a lot of wires. Um, before, during my college days, actually it's called spaghetti wire. Okay, because basically, um, gabi ka gubot good ang wiring. Okay? Here, I want you to create, uh, I want you to use, not create, I want you to use a um, few um, wires for connection as possible. Okay? The breadboard should be used to make most of the connections between the components. Okay, components, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have LED, we have Arduino, and we have a lot more. Okay, so keep jumper wires as short as possible. Actually, you can do that one in physical classroom but, or in actual, but actually here in Tinkercad, you can actually use one, but... There will be, uh, I will show you later on how to use it. Okay, a, jum uh, a jumble of wires is difficult to troubleshoot. Yes, this is correct. So no, uh, please, no spaghetti wire. Okay, breadboard, a circuit, uh, breadboard is a circuit so that it looks as close as possible to the layout of the schematic circuit. This makes troubleshooting easier. Um, to be honest, um, we will... Um, since you have an idea already about physics, um, by the schematic diagram created in your physics class, we can be able to create something as well in our robotics class. Okay, so I will show you some um, um, icons or I will show you some symbols later on that we will use. Okay, next. Um, place the IC or our IC chips in the middle of the breadboard. So if we have IC chip, we can put that one in the middle of the breadboard. I believe that we can only put in the middle of the breadboard, it's a switch. Um, the Arduino, you can put that one in the middle of the switch because the Arduino, uh, basically it looks bigger or wider compared to the small breadboard. Okay, so work from schematic. Uh, uh, work from a schematic and check off the component and wires as they are implemented in the board. Just like what I said earlier, it's better if you have a plan, just like in a programming, if you have a flowchart, then you will implement it in coding it. Uh, you will implement it by coding it, right? In robotics, it's really good if you have a schematic diagram before you will implement it. Okay? Next, we need to cut component leads to manageable lengths. So again, dapat um, few lang ang connections and also dapat shorter lang siya. Component leads that are too long may touch and short each other out. So it's prone for short circuit. Okay, have someone check your circuit for errors. So don't worry, um, in programming, we have what we call pair programming. Uh, in this um, in robotics, uh, we can also do that one. 
but in physical but let's see if we can do that one here um, in virtual or in online learning but I think in Tinkercad um, there is what we call share so you can share your code or your um, sorry you're, you're not allowed to share your code if if wala ako ni but you're allowed to uh, for this matter lang ha for this matter you're allowed to let your teammates or to let your colleagues check if there is an error with your connection or with your codes okay so this is by the way the parts of our arduino so number one this is the power bin uh, power in this is where the connection from the arduino going to the computer or the usb port of the computer we also have um, actually this is also the same to number two okay this is for the USB port going to the computer, um, going to the PC. And this one, it's going to the, for example, to the battery case. Okay, to the battery case. Diba naman tayo mga battery case? Sorry, kind of battery case. Next, uh, we also have LED, um, number 3 and number 4. Um, 3 and 4, receiving and transmitting. I uh, also have troubleshooting part. Don't worry. Um, uh, I will also, uh, you will also notice this one or you will also explore this one later in our Tinkercad discussion. We also have pins. We have digital and analog. So uh, we have um, number six. Basically, this is our digital. Uh, here, if you can see A, this one. A1, A2, A3, A2, A4, A5, this is actually an analog signal. This is analog and this is digital. If you can see something like this, a negative sign, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9, meaning that's actually hybrid. So meaning it can do both, positive and negative. Okay? So for those na wala siya mga negative sign, that means it's purely digital. Okay? Next, number seven. Where's number seven? Here. So this is the on and off. You will so uh, you will so you will see that one later on. Okay. And more pins. There you go. So take note, guys, that the pin here it will be considered as um, positive. Um, positive. It will provide us a positive charge. Okay, the ground here, it will give us the GND. This is ground, GND, GND. Um, it, this will give us a negative charge. The five, uh, sorry, this, uh, these pins, digital pins, it will provide us positive charges. The GND will provide us negative charges or the ground, of course. Diba ang ground, ang kuan sa ground, kay in ato, man to, kana, in ana. Ang uban kay wala ni siya. Ana lang. Ground na, na siya. This is the ground. The 5 volts, it will give us a positive charge. And 3.5 volts. But normally, we will use the 5 volts. Again, this is positive. The GND here, it's negative and negative. And the digital pins and a lot of pins here, uh, uh, this is actually a positive charge. Okay. Okay, let me show you how to do this one. So basically here, uh, we are, okay, we actually used a digital pin um, 13. We also use 5 volts. 5 volts, it's con it should be connected. Again, um, the breadboard will not work if there is no positive and negative charge. So how can your LED light work uh, if you doesn't have um if you don't have um a charge from the arduino or from the microchip or sorry from the micro uh, from the uh, microprocessor right so we have five volts here going there so that's positive we have gnd here so GND here, it will be stored in this power rail. Of course, that's negative. If you will see here, uh, we have a resistor. The resistor connects um, the connection from 
the negative going to the um, to the number three row. So in the number three row, uh, you, you need to make sure that your lead, that your lead, de ba ang lead light nato kay naman siya shorter na pud siya um, shorter and long leg. So the short leg it's actually the negative charge, and the um, long leg it's actually our positive. So make sure that the connection from the power rail of the negative one and also from the resistor should be connected to the negative um, leg of your lead. Then, positive here. Then the number two here, it's positive. Okay? Number two here, it's positive. Make sure that there is a connection because if there is no connection for going to the positive, uh, going to the digital 13, it will not work. Okay, let me show you in our Tinkercad. One moment. Let me see. Let me see. There. One moment. Okay. Here. So, let me see. I will just use the Arduino. Even though that we already have something like this, here, a blank button fade, but I want you to be honest and I want you to work on your own and don't, what do you call this? And don't use kung say na ata. Okay? How will you learn if dili niyo siya buhaton? Diba? So, here, you'll see na inaan siyang nawong. But, actually, pwede ragi ka niyo siya ma-change. So, one moment, ha? I will remove that. I will remove that. Wala pa ni siya coding na part, ha? Kanikay. Ang purpose lang, Gidani, is just to show you kung na saan siya pag kung saan connection. Okay? One moment. Okay, here. So, first, first thing that we need to do, uh, oh, what happened to this? One moment, ha? First thing that we need to do, there should be a connection from the um, from the five volts going to the here. Oh, you will see. Click, click, lang gita. There, five volts going here. There. So you can change the color of your wire if you want. So for example, my five volts um, or the wire for my positive charge, it's actually um red i want that one to be red kanaba ana there next that's the positive charge so you na kay positive charge this time you need to get as well a negative charge we will not get negativity from the other people but we need to get a negative charge from the arduino okay so no nota negative Next, wait, there you go. I will change that one to black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, pretty big change. There, there you go. So, you already have a connection from, uh, from the Arduino going to your, um, going to your breadboard. So, nana gini siya charge. All you need to do is just to distribute the positive and negative charge. Diba in a circuit, or um, we can call it a circuit if there is a flow of connection. It's a complete circuit if na ay connection. So, meaning, uh, ning, 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 sulod ang positive, ning kawas ang negative. Na -na. That's why na ay mga ginatawag na short circuit because na ay usa sa mga charges na ni spark or na ay usa sa mga charges na. Uh, Open, open circuit. So possible na yun Here in our, um, here in Arduino, uh, we need to make sure that we are creating our, uh, we are creating a complete circuit. Okay. Next one. So we will now create. Uh, here na lang. Uh, I will start with this digital pin 13. I will put that one here. For example, in number two. I will. That's actually positive, so um, I will change that one to red. 
And, ah, sorry. Ngayon na lang para practice pa design design na daw na to. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There. Kanahan ko na i-change siya. Kana, kana kung siyang inani siya na wong. Ganahan ko ay para maklaro ninyo ba kung asan ako siya gibotang. Tama? That one. So, that should be, um, this should be red. There, red. Then, there should be a resistor. For the resistor, we can go and look for all. And we need to find the resistor here. One moment. Mm -hmm. Or we can just, here. Wala. Okay. Resistor from this one. Anywhere, actually, ha. Pwede ragigin nyo siya. Asan nyo siya ibutang. But for now, I can. I need to put that one, and I will there. Ana on ako siya. Ipapa mas maklaro niyo. Na ano ako? Ilotang, ipalotang ba nako siya? Ha, kaya sa imang good. There wait lang. There di siya mukuan. Hindi siya mas shoot o maayong. Okay, ipalotang na lang sa nako siya. Or wait. One moment. Three, because this one should be in the negative part. Ipalotang na lang gidna ko yun kaya para mas maklaro siya there. So I will click the edge of this terminal of the of this resistor. What's the purpose again of the resistor? Again, take note, guys. Ha, in actual mga good, I always inform my students that you need to have one resistor. In uh, one resistor is equivalent to one lead. Okay? What's so, the purpose of this resistor in the, in the Ohm's law? Aside from the word itself, it, of course, it will resist, um, it will make um, the voltage um, lower the um, lower the capacity ba, or say tawag ano eh, para pag-abot sa imuhang lead light, di siya mubuto. Kung i-diritsyo lamang good mo siya na from the voltage without any resistance, may possibility na mubuto ang imuhang device. So again, in actual, actually we also need to do that one here, even though that we are doing it here in Tinkercad, it's better that you will use one LED, one, um, one resistor. Okay? So again, sa Ohm's law, we have voltage, we have resistor, and we also have current. Right? Ang resistor ang shy mo tabang o resist sa um, sa voltage na ginapush ni current. Nana. So I can just put that one here. No, yeah, correct. And this is negative ano? So negative siya. So I will put black. Here I will put the one here. That one here. There. That's actually still black. Next one. So, na na siya yung connection. Asa man ang ato ang, asa man ang ato ang LED. So, pangitaan natin sa LED, sa LED, sa LED, sa LED. Here. Okay. Sa LED. Basically, sa ato ang, ah, sa LED na ito, ha? Oh, wait. Ang sa LED na ito, ay, ano na lang. Normally, sa LED, kay tag-as man eh. Makita din mo si cathode o si anode. When you say cathode, um, that's actually, Um, that's positive. When you say anode, that's negative. Okay? So, one moment. Let me double check that one. One moment. Okay, so let's have a connection right now. Okay. Wait lang. Lead light. Eh? Ay, ano yung gawas? Okay. Okay, let's double check ha. Katod. Okay, here. When you say katod, here, here, here. Say katod, it's positive. Then anode, it's negative. Tama lang yung imam. So, positive ang cathode. So, the positive here. I will just, ilotaw lang na ko siya. Kaya kung ibutang na ko to siya, Devin. 
di kayo ni siya maklaro ang connection. So, ilutaw lang nato. So, cathode, this should be connected to positive. Asa mo na positive ninyo? Di ba? Naasa 13. So, 13. There. Ang negative, which is anode, this should be connected in the number 3 because that's actually negative. Okay. There. Klaro? Klaro na siya, o. Di ba? So, ang saan mo pagdagandagan mo kung ang gisya ang connection. There you go. So, we already have a complete circuit. How will we know if this will work? So, all we need to do is to click Start Simulation. And you will see. One moment. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know what mention it work. Mm. It's negative, the bar. Stop simulating. There. It's working or not? There, it's working. You can also change this one. If you want, you can make it green. Let's see if this will work though. There, di ba kayo siya maklaro, no? Wait, uh, di kayo siya maklaro, good. Can you change this one to red if you want? Start simulating. Or let's go directly to this part. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do the um, 300, 300 on that. This normally, this should work. Or basing problema ang mata na ako kaya bigyan ako siya maklaro. One moment. Here. Hmm. Let's see. One moment. Hmm. This is weird. This should be a moment. Okay, let's see. There, it's working. So, nagkabaliktad ang connection. So, negative. This one, it's negative. Shorter, Dami. Wait, saha. I'll let me double check. D oh, sorry. Diba? Here. So, anode. It's negative. Ah, tangka lagi. I'm wrong. So, negative ni siya dapat the rain. Ah, oh God, Fernand. Negative, that's actually black. And here, this should be here. Because that's actually red. There you go. So, that's positive and negative. And start simulating. Hmm. Wait. Deba. Anod, it's positive. Alahan. Anod, it's positive. Oh, sorry. Mm, that's why I'm wrong. Anod, it's actually positive. Again, it's the longest. Uh, the, uh, the, what do you call this? The, um, the longest tail. So, if that is the longest tail, that should be the positive one. Positive one here. Then the negative one, it should be here. So for the positive, that should be red. And the negative, it should be black. And start simulating. There, it's working. Okay? So it's working. And in our next video, I will show you how to code um, this one.